Hi, welcome to another practical demo of what is recently launched, that is Google's Agent Development Kit. Okay, so we saw Pyrandic AI Agent, then we saw PyData or Agno Agent System. We have made over, I think, 20 or 30 videos on these agents and in fact, team of agents as well. Welcome to Techie Talks AI. I am Sri from Shogani. On this channel, we bring you hands-on demonstrations and insights into the latest tools and trends to help you get started with ease. Don't forget to subscribe and be a part of our journey into the future of technology. Now there is another agentic framework and, and that too from Google. We need to look at it. So it is very new. In this video, all we are going to do is to see how it works. A simple practical demonstration and the code is available for you to run. Why should you run from our repo? Because I containerize so that you don't need to install anything. Just git clone and docker compose up and it is, you are ready to test it. If you do this, do like this, unnecessarily will clutter your system and then you need to use Python virtual environment or Conda to have a separate environment created. But all those circuits we don't need to do if you use Docker. Let's look at the quick start, set up the development environment. So this is what we are going to do. Now what is this agent? This is the picture that I have created for all our previous videos. What we are going to see today is about this agent which is from Google and the LLM can be anything but in this case we will use Gemini, latest Gemini. Okay, so this is the library that we are going to see that is agent dev kit from Google. Okay, so let's understand it before we demonstrate. Okay, what is special about it in this agent? We can attach tools. Okay, so we are not using any MCP protocol or anything like that. We are directly attaching tools to these agents. That is this demo all about. In this demo, we will attach two tools as a part of the Google's demo code. So let's look at the code. Here we have the agent. This is the agent. And we have only seen Agno or Pydantic AI agent so far and today we are seeing Google agent. Okay, We have already seen this and this. So that is over. Now it is Google in the game. What is this? This is one tool function defined and remember when you define a tool function its doc string is critical the parameters needed and what it does and what it responds with. So there is a get weather tool and it is hard coded weather of New York. Okay. Then get current time, another tool and again input is city and it is for New York. Here we have the agent. Okay, so this is the Google agent and what are the parameters? This is the name of the agent then the LLM model we are using Gemini 2.0 flash and the API key I have already placed in the .env when you run it you need to also have to do that okay description agent answers questions about time motivation and whether this motivation please ignore that I was experimenting with the next video I will demonstrate that in section I can answer your questions about time weather. Okay, so that is it. Let me remove the motivation not to confuse. So it is about an agent with an LLM attached and two tools attached. Weather tool and time tool. That is it. Simple code. Actually, that is all you need to create an agent. But another very interesting thing is Google has given a web interface which you can run easily. I have created a shell script entry point or SH and here we are starting the ADK web and port 8000. So in order to start what you need to do is docker compose up. Okay, so env files are not there. Let me copy.
I will also be giving you the ENV example for you to refer. Okay, so it has started. ADK web server started on localhost 8000. So let's try it. Okay, so it says select an agent on the left to begin with. It is multi underscore tool underscore agent. So this is the agent. Okay. So now we can interact with it. So how is the weather in New York? So see, it is calling the get weather tool and tool re responded, okay, the weather in New York is sunny with a temperature of 25 degrees. Okay, so the, these responses are uh, dummy responses, but this is the idea how we can use Google SDK, uh, Google Agent Dev Kit. And it has got two tools. One is about the weather and other one is about get the current time. Okay, what is the time in New York. Get the current time. See here, the function calling also. This is a very nice web interface using which you can debug your agent. So that is one added thing which is not there with uh, Pyrandic or Agno. So this makes it handy to handle and we will explore this more. Okay, so I just want to keep the initial videos simple, practical. Uh, one more thing is, this also has audio and video interface. So, I can ask the same thing using audio. That's why I will ask the same question. I have to allow this. Can you tell me the weather in New York? The weather in New York is sunny with a temperature of 25 degrees Celsius, which is 41 degrees Fahrenheit. Is there anything else you would like to know? Can you tell me the current time as well? The current time in New York is 12.56 p.m. Eastern Daylight Saving Time. Is there anything else I can help you with? No, thank you. You're welcome. See this? So just by adding few lines, you can have an interactive agent like this with multiple tools attached to it. Okay, so that is it for this short video demonstrating the newly launched agent development kit from Google and the code that I am demonstrating here is easier to run than the code that is from Google because there you need to install many things. Here you just need to clone and run it. Thank you for your time. Please give your valuable comments and remember to like, share and subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.